Thank you for purchasing the newly designed Road Widener FH model. When your Road Widener arrives, follow these steps to assure proper machine setup and ease of use. Install and pin the tailgate guard as shown. Be sure to install the provided clip to keep the pin in place. The machine needs to be greased at 10 different points. Grease the machine daily with heavy use. There is one grease zerk on each end of the two rollers, one for each caster pivot, and one on each caster wheel. Connect the skid loader to the road widener via the universal attachment plate. This can be done flat on the ground or from a trailer. Activate your skid loader's pin system to lock the road widener in place. Proceed only once the machine is locked in place. Next, turn off the skid loader and connect both hydraulic hoses from the road widener to the skid loader. At this time, verify that the arms of your skid loader are down to assure that the road widener is as close to level to the road as possible. The road widener's rollers can be extended for different types of trucks as needed. The standard setup is designed to work with quad axle or tri axle dump trucks with stone or asphalt trays. Unpin the rollers through the front ports as shown. Extend the roller to the desired length and repin both pins evenly in place. Be sure that the pins are fully installed as shown. Repeat on the other roller making sure that the standoff lengths of the two rollers are identical. Some situations may call for our optional push plate to be used instead of the rollers, as in the case of a protruding pinnel hitch. To install the push plate, use the provided pre-threaded holes and approved mounting hardware. Begin operation by starting your skid loader. Next, turn the hydraulic on-off to the on position on the road widener. Then turn on the hydraulic controls in your skid loader. Before adjusting the shoe width and slope, you must first turn off the road widener's hydraulic controls. This safety feature also prevents damage to the machine. Adjust the width of the shoe using the shoe width control to your desired measurement as shown. Adjust the slope of the shoe to meet your needs using the slope control as shown. Connect the guide chain at the desired position, being sure to remove any slack. Next, turn on the hydraulic controls on the road widener. Now you are ready for laying material. When the truck arrives, make sure that the tailgate is chained off at equal lengths to ensure proper material flow for your application. Count the chain links on both sides to ensure equal lengths. When backing into position, the truck should make soft contact with the rollers or push plate, and then lightly feather the brakes just enough to keep the truck from rolling ahead of the rollers as it's being pushed by the road widener. The truck operator should now raise the dump bed as needed to begin the flow of material into the hopper of the road widener. In the case that your dump material is not moving during operation, it may be that there is too much material in the hopper. The skid loader operator can now use the hydraulic controls of the skid loader to activate the belt and lay material. The skid loader operator pushes the dump truck forward during operation as needed while it distributes material. The skid loader operator can see through the gap at the edge of the road widener to assure that the road widener is lined up with the edge of the road as desired. Monitoring this gap will aid in assuring proper distribution of material on the road edge. The skid loader operator should visually monitor the amount of material in the hopper of the road widener during operation to assure that there is not too much or too little material in the hopper at any time. Adjustments to belt speed are made using the belt speed adjustment knob as shown. In the case that your dump material is not moving during operation, 
It may be that there is too much material in the hopper, or it could be that the belt has stretched a bit over time and needs tensioning. Use the provided belt tensioners to make adjustments. To adjust the belt tension, first loosen the stopper nut, make adjustments as shown, and re-tighten the stopper nut. There is a tensioning assembly at both sides of the machine to assure even tensioning and proper belt tracking. Be sure to tension both assemblies evenly. If the road widener is leaving material on the road, check to make sure that you're not running the machine too far onto the road. Move toward the edge of the road as needed. Check to make sure that the road widener is not raised up on the arms of the skid loader. This would allow material to fall back under the rubber skirt edge. It's important to remember that when you roll the material, it will compact, so be sure to leave the material slightly higher and or your slope less than desired in order to account for the compaction. First, turn off the skid loader. Disconnect both hydraulic hoses. Start the skid loader. Set the machine on the trailer. Disconnect the skid loader and move it away from the road widener and trailer. Tie down the machine for transport using the big tie-down rings. Secure all four tie-down rings to your trailer. Be sure to comply with all local laws and regulations regarding securing loads on a trailer. You can also transport the road widener while it's connected to the skid loader. When using this method, tie down at least four points on the skid loader and the front two points on the road widener. Once again, be sure to comply with all local laws and regulation regarding securing loads on a trailer.